All right, we'll start things off. Coach, opening remarks. Happy to come out of there with a win. Happy to be one of the last 16 teams playing this fall. Um, when, when you make it to the NCAA National Playoffs, out of 250 teams, there's only 32 left. So, so you're not going to get a bad draw. You're going to play a good football team. Um, I was impressed with Western New England and the way they executed on offense all day today. Um, j just kept coming. Uh, number 17, Alex Coleman's a good football player. And they just kept coming. And he made a bunch of the right reads in run game and pass game. But you asked my thoughts. My thoughts are this. Uh, we're happy to still be playing football next weekend. Coach, uh, I asked Coach Lebeau this. What do you think the turning point of the game was? I don't know if there was a turning point to that football game. Um, I, I thought the interception in the end zone by Vinny, by Vinny, um, and then us turning those into points in the drive that followed that, I thought that there's a turning point. That's kind of when we shut the door on them. Uh, Coach, we, uh, we talk about – and the Bobcats every week, how mindset is, is a big thing. And what do you think the mindset in terms of intensity was for your team today? Did you like it? Yeah, we, we were lacking some in that area. And here's, guys, here, here's what happened to us this week. Uh, we weren't very good offensively in practice on Wednesday, and then the blizzard hits here on Thursday. So we're inside in the gymnasium, and it's hard to run and execute a practice in the gymnasium. But we were inside on Thursday, and we turned around, still had to be inside on Friday. So it, it, it affected our intensity. It affected our focus a little bit. But more than anything else, it affects your timing because you're not getting to do things full speed when you're in a college gymnasium. Uh, Malik, I'll throw it to you. What would you like about your performance today? Uh, I just love the the way that our OC made the adjustments to how they would plan us. Um, I, uh, I love the way that we played physical and played hard throughout the entire game. Uh, Receiving-wise, you and Connor seem to be on the same page. Is that fair to say all, throughout the entire season? Yes. Uh, I just love Connor as a quarterback. <laughs> uh, you're averaging north of like 25 yards per catch. What can you say about – what what attributes to that for you personally? Uh, personally, I just – I was just always taught to just finish, run as fast, run as fast as I can and just make plays. Vinny, I'll move to you. Uh, what is about the postseason that, that wakes up Vinny Persichetti as a safety making big plays? Uh, I don't know. It's just big-time game. Just had to step up, make sure I support my teammates, put us in a position to win. How important was it for the, the DBs for the team to bottle up Alec Coleman in his offensive attack? Very important because he's a very athletic quarterback. I mean, if he would have got outside the pocket, he was dangerous. So we had to make sure just to keep the receivers covered and make sure the D-line gets the quarterback. What was the most important thing uh, for your group on the team, uh, mindset-wise, in today's matchup? Uh, just keep on, keep on our man because we knew he was going to scramble. Just had to walk up the receivers. What do you think uh, for DBs do you need to work on going forward for the season? Uh, slants. Slants kill us today. So this week in practice, Coach Mayer is going to harp on us about that. Okay, Grayson. Um, I don't really know how to describe you because we do the position groups, but you kind of do a little bit of everything. So talk about your impact on, on the team with all that you do. Well, we had some tight ends go down this week, so I had to play tight end, which is which is fine because, you know, I've been doing a little bit of both. And, uh, you know, working with uh, Coach LeVar and uh, Coach Belt helped me really get me ready for this game, you know, especially um, – Coach McDonald, you know, um, really setting up a good game plan, you know, and it, uh, all around, you know, I've, I've been there, I've done the position, so, and uh, got good coaches um, pushing me along the way. How much of a luxury, in your opinion, is it to have kind of a plug and play running back core with Jamal, and you got Facey, and then yourself, and some others, you guys just kind of plug and play, it's easy. All of us can play, you know, from, you know, Maul to, you know, Jamal, Malcolm, um, Isaiah, even our young guys, you know, all of us are very good, you know, and it's just, it's fantastic to have, you know, I mean, what, why wouldn't you want that? So. As one of the leaders of the team, what have you liked what you've seen this season uh, up until this point? Uh, just the fight of the team, you know, if, you know, if we, we're always throwing punches. If someone's punching us, you know, we're going to punch back and we're going to punch harder and, you know, like, you know, they made some big plays today and we just came out and fired right back at them and I just, you know, that, you know, that's Frostburg football, and, you know, Coach Fitzgerald, you know, really pushes that on us, and our coaching staff really, you know, helps us, um, uh, helps us, you know, be the way that we are. I'll move down to Connor so we can make the, the microphone down there. Connor, a uh, pretty big day passing for you statistically. What did you like what you saw uh, from the offense today? We had a good game plan. Um, we came out. 
and we were up tempo from the beginning. A lot of quick short passes. To be honest, we thought they were going to blitz a little bit more than what it turned out for them to be blitzing, which allowed us to be a little bit more balanced. We knew we were going to have to throw the ball today, and uh, we executed well. So it was a good day. Uh, Andy and I always talk about in the broadcast how improvisation is a big part of your game. <coughs> how much do you like to do some improv, especially with receivers like Malik Morris and Ikubu who run that scramble drill so well? Yeah, it benefited today. I mean, they were rushing three a lot of the time, so our O-line did a great job protecting, gave me a lot of time back there. Sometimes you take the good with the bad. I mean, I get a little antsy back there, maybe leave sometimes when I shun it, and sometimes it turns into a big play. I enjoy it. It's just me out there playing backyard football sometimes, so I can't complain, but I enjoy it. And I have receivers that know that that's coming. So when I do that, then they get open. So it's a luxury to have an O-line that blocks for me and receivers that understand to keep continuing the play and play till the end of the whistle because at any point I could get out of the pocket and still try to make a play. As the quarterback of the offense and one of the leaders on the offense, what do you think offensively you guys need to do moving forward in the season? I would say that we just need to like honestly keep doing what we're doing. We're a very balanced offense. If we come out one week and they have a lot of guys in the box, we'll throw the ball if they come out. And I know we play John Hopkins. I heard they won, so I don't know what kind of defense they run. But if they have a lot of guys in coverage, we'll run the ball. And if they stack the box, we'll throw the ball. We, can, we have a luxury. We have good running backs. We have good players all across the offense. So we're not one-sided by any means. Drake, I'll move to you. Um, <clears throat> from the quarterback of the offense to middle, middle linebacker, kind of quarterback of defense, can you talk about the depth of the linebacking core on this team? Uh, our linebackers, we got pretty much very great linebackers. Our freshmen are good. Uh, seniors, every class, our linebackers are pretty good. Uh, what was the mindset for your specific position group going into today's game? We just had to make sure we contain that quarterback. He was their best player on offense, so we had to make sure we keep him, keep him contained, and we had a pretty much good chance to win the game. What do you like about the kind of intensity and the mindset of the defense? Uh, a couple of times out there, we saw some guys getting pretty amped up. Is that something you guys like to do? Oh, yeah, Coach, coaches harp on us all week to play with intensity and come out fired up and let it fly. So that's what we did. All right, I'll open it for questions. Anybody have a question? Yeah, Drake Juan, um, after you uh, adjusted to the speed of the quarterback, you guys seemed to completely shut down his run game uh, after the first, uh, you know, second or third drive. What was the difference there after the second drive of the game? Uh, I guess we just had to see how he was going to approach us. We knew that he was a runner, and Coach Kellen, uh, basically told us that we were kind of playing Connor this week, but we just made sure that we contained him. And uh, Coach Fitzgerald, uh, you know, were you happy with the overall performance today? I'm happy to still be playing. You know, we start with, again, start with 250 teams. We're down to the 16. Right, we've got John Hopkins at home next Saturday at 12 o'clock. Um, sh should be a big crowd. Hey, another in-state game. Hey, playing for the state title again next weekend. Yeah, I'm, I'm extremely happy. Um, our, our young men have shown a, a great deal of perseverance and stick to all fall, and we're still playing. I'm, I'm happy. And, and Grayson, you kind of touched on this earlier today, uh, playing multiple positions, but it seemed like uh, when you needed a few yards, today, they went way behind you. Uh, you know, when they needed big plays, or, you know, third and short, they went behind you. You know, how do you uh, feel comfortable just completely dominating the front like that? Oh, like I said, you know, I have uh, Coach Belt and Coach Bar really teaching me technique. And, you know, I just go back to my fundamentals and, you know, listen to what they're saying. And, uh, you know, just really just do what they told me to do. So just going back to my fundamentals. Well, congratulations, guys. Good luck next week.